How would you describe uh, your uh, music? Um, I'd describe it as two minute roller coaster ride, thrill filled, hip hop, punk rock, booty shaking, thrill seeking, okay. hot slabs of musical action. What are your musical influences? Little Richard. Uh, Public Enemy. Yeah. The Ramones. Sonic. Um, Run DMC. Um, Run DMC. Um, lots of a lot of hip hop. Stax, Soul. Booker T. James Brown. James Brown for sure. DJ. 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 It's a very strange combination to do uh, hip hop and I think they're both um, very rebellious forms of music and very loud and obnoxious and they both have great sounds. I don't think they're at, at opposite ends of the pole at all. I think if you were um, trying to mix the Beatles with hip hop, then you might run into some trouble. Or you're trying to mix reggae with Tears for Fears. <laughs> that might lead to some disgusting combinations, but Schooly D and the Shangri-Las, that's beautiful. Why not put them together? It doesn't sound strange at all. People think that, say, why are you do, mixing these two styles of music that don't go together? They do go together and go together well. They're like peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Grape jelly. Where do you sing about? Everything. Whatever's annoying me at the moment. What is annoying you at the moment? Right, this moment. <coughs> but that won't rhyme with very much, so I'm not going to bother with that. You could make like a chorus. I, like you know, piece of foam. I'm all alone. But out at home. Yeah, it doesn't really happen. It's not our style. <laughs> Where do you make uh, your music now? Unfortunately, do so. it has been Wales, but we've learned from that. We're never going to Wales again. <laughs> so usually England. Yeah, we did a lot of the album in Manchester. How did you get to England? I got on a plane. <laughs> no, seriously, how did you get to, 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 to England to, to form a dance app? Um, I, 
I was in juvenile hall and I finally got let out and um, I was asked by the FBI not to stay in the country so they gave me a list of possible countries and I thought England sounded like the most pleasant How did you meet her? Uh, well, it's a long story, but uh, I was um, waitressing, I was a roller waitress, and one day I just set off a little bit too quickly and just piled into Muffin in the street and knocked her over, took her to the emergency room, and we just bonded over her broken knees. They're still not healed properly. Yeah. Look at that. We're a bit mangled. And I sued her. And she's paying me back by, through her labor yeah. on the base. Yeah, that's poor. That's a good story. Uh, They're been the reactions in uh, in England so good. far good yeah. yeah we have a steadily increasing fan base it's like mold and it'll reach over here soon yep. watch out yeah it's like the plague and if you can dance in a crazy kind of Watusi style you were made for us message for the kids you don't have to learn you don't have to learn to play the guitar you don't have to learn how to sing you don't have to learn how to drum you don't have to learn how to scratch you don't have to learn how to tie your shoelaces you can buy velcro shoes and make up the rest of it